Hey guys, um, I just wanted to uh, give you um, a little snippets of the conference I went to by Stephen Dewey, and it was about drug abuse on the adolescent and adult brain. Um, so I'm going to break it up into segments just because it was a two hour presentation and I don't have the slides to show you, but I just want to give you an idea of what it is that I learned because I think it's very important for all of us to um, learn these things because education is key and if you don't know what's going on then you can't protect yourself, right? So we were talking about um, PET scans. So they have these scans that you can put on your brain, right, to measure your dopamine levels and, and a bunch of other chemical reactions. Um, dopamine is what actually makes you happy, right? So if you're laughing with a friend and you're having a good time and you're, you're joking around, and, you know, your dopamine levels go up 5 to 8% in that moment. Now, a drug like meth, if you take meth for the first time, methamphetamines, your dopamine level increases 9,000%. 5 to 8% normal use, 9,000% with a drug. Now, the reason that's not good is because that's why it is the most addictive drug. You cannot recover from meth. The damage that it does to your brain is irreparable. Okay, and people are always chasing that first high and they never get it. And that's what the meth heads do. They, they get that high, they're so excited, and then they're always chasing that high. And then if you actually watch videos on meth, you can see how it progressively damages not only your brain, but your body. You become a live, living zombie, depending on how, you know, how excessive your use is. There is nothing good about this drug. I do not recommend that any human being on the planet even try the drug but check this out okay this is why I'm talking about it they had random studies you know random participant uh, participants come in that smoked weed and they were testing them you know in their body they're like do you do any other drugs because they wanted to see if there was a correlation with pot smokers because everybody says pot's a gateway drug it's not a gateway drug you have um, a higher probability of trying other drugs when you do inhalants um, when you do coke, when you do um, E, a lot of other drugs are more gateway than weed. So just FYI, okay? So it's not a gateway drug. Um, but when they were testing people, a lot of people had meth in their system. Get this, people. 60 to 75% per of the participants had meth in their system. And they were like, no, we don't do meth, blah, blah, blah. They asked them to bring their weed in, and the weed was laced with meth. So 60 to 75% of the weed that is out there in the United States is laced with meth, people. That's why people are getting addicted to weed. They don't even realize that they're actually doing meth. That's why the United States government decided to legalize marijuana because now they can control it and give you the pure form of marijuana and you don't have this meth-laced weed out there. Blew my mind. I was like, I mean, I knew there was something wrong with the weed nowadays because when I grew up, like, I see the difference of, like, what, what people look like when they were smoking weed and then what they look like now and how they act. And I could totally understand the difference. But to, to know that that's why, that 60 to 70%, you could buy your weed from the same weed guy for years. He's still getting laced weed. Unless he's growing it himself in his house and selling it to you, he's getting it from somewhere. And chances are that 60 to 70% of the weed that's out there is laced with meth. The damages that are going to happen in the future for these people, irreparable. Like, I, I don't even want to think about it or talk. Like, I, I, I don't know. But I just wanted to share that with you guys because I've been making a lot of videos about weed because I have an issue with it. Because I, I knew there was something wrong. I couldn't figure out what it is. And now I understand and now I get it. So I wanted to share that with you guys because it just blew my mind. Um, I'm going to stop this video here, but I am going to do other snippets and videos, um, again, on marijuana and stuff. But the, this meth one was the one that I really wanted to share with you guys because that's the one fact that just 
it blew my like I can't even believe that people would do that I can't believe people would lace weed with meth I I just I can't I can't so I just wanted to share that with you guys peace out you know watch my videos if you like it if you don't whatever um and keep learning keep getting educated and if you guys want to go to one of Stephen Dewey's who I highly recommend um, his presentations, you can look it up online. Um, he's all over New York. He teaches in schools and different seminars. Um, but he is an amazing, amazing speaker, amazing teacher. He put the work in, and now he does all these conferences and speeches for free because he was the person that helped create the PET scan that helps you read, you know, um, the different levels of the brain. And he's really into giving back, and I admire that very, very much. Um, see you later.